Danny the Dragon. This is a story about a dragon, some villagers, a salesman and a gang of robbers. Danny the dragon lived in some woods beside a tiny village. Some dragons are scary, but Danny was friendly. Morning, Joe. Morning, Danny. Everyone in the village liked Danny. Morning, Danny. Morning, Danny. And Danny liked everyone in the village. Morning, Peg. Morning, Sam. Each night he visited every villager. He lit their fires. Thanks, Danny. He cooked their food. Thanks, Danny. He lit their candles as it grew dark. Thanks, Danny. Then he went home feeling happy. Good night, Danny. Thanks again. One day, a stranger came to the village. Roll up, he cried, by Mr. Marvel's magic fire street sticks. The villagers had never seen fire, magic fire sticks before. When do they do? asked, what do they do? asked Joy. I will show you, said Mr. Marvel. They can light your fires when you are in cold. Incredible! They can cook your food when you are hungry. Unbelievable! And they can light your candles when it gets dark. Wonderful! The villagers were amazed. I will buy four. I will buy five. Some said I want six. They bought all the magic fire sticks on the wagon. That night, Danny visited the villagers as usual. Shall I light your fire? He asked Joey. No, thanks, Danny. I have got magic fire sticks, said Joey. I don't need a dragon. Danny walked to the house next door. Shall I cook your food? He asked Peg. No, thanks, Danny. I have got magic fire sticks said Peg. I don't need a dragon. Danny went to the next house. Shall I light up, light your candles? He asked Sam. No thanks Danny. I have got magic fire sticks and sa said Sam. I don't need a dragon. It was the same story at every house. No one needs me anymore, Danny thought. He walked into the woods and tried not to cry. At that moment, a gang of robbers was passing the village. They noticed the smoke of the fire. They saw the lights of the candle. And they smelled the food cooking. Grubs up, cried the chief robber. The robbers stormed into the village. They pushed the villagers away from their fires. They snatched away their food and they carried away their candles. Who can help us? said the villagers. Not me, said Mr. Marrow and he ran away. In the woods, Danny heard the cries of the villagers. He ran out of the woods and into the village. Danny charged up to the robbers. He set their beard on fire and toasted their feet and burned their bottoms. The robbers ran off and were never seen again. Don't let the dragon get us. Help, help, they cried. Thankful villagers gave Danny his job back. Thank you, Danny, and found another use for the Mr. Marvel's magic sticks. The end.